So uh, doing a little bit of field herping right now and uh, we just came across some railroad tracks and those are usually always really promising so we'll see if we get lucky here. Dude, this horse is crossing the road over there. So far, no luck. It's hard to find stuff to flip out here. We don't really see anything basking. All right, Josh has flipped this decayed snake underneath this uh, railroad tie for a snake here. It's not a very big one, but uh, always cool to find these guys. They're always very well-mannered. I'm not sure if this guy even musked on me, and he's way too small to bite. Alright guys, we've seen a lot of really cool stuff in this pond, so I'm gonna hop in, see if I can get anything. Mine up that turtle right there. How much muck do I have to deal with here? A lot, a lot of muck. Midland painted turtle, Kasemi's picked the marginata. Wow, look at the patterns on this one. On um, the muck is, I think. <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, we've been seeing um, red spotted newts in here. No palmas viridescens. Uh, and leeches as well, so I might get some leeches. Dude, look at right in front of you. Got him. Nice, dude. Big turtle. This is the biggest turtle I've got all year. All right, another painted turtle. I love catching these guys. This is a pretty big one. I think it's a big female by the looks of those claws. Not nearly big enough to be a male. Um, check that out. See the faded color of the plastron when they're young, it's like bright orange, and then it fades into more of a yellow with age. Yeah, pretty cool. Those claws kind of hurt. Luckily, I'm not getting like really scratched up. It's physically scratched up. All right, awesome. Love jumping into ponds. 